Three years ago, there wasn't one to be found. Probably the most recognizable bird in North America. Seven states claim it as their state bird. I started seriously birding and there wasn't one to be found. The cardinal is a songbird like no the other. The songs it whispers first thing in the morning are like nothing I can imagine. And now as I gently gaze out my window, I feel as though I have more than I could have dreamed of. Four pairs all calling the forest to the monarch home. But why this forest? Why now? What changed? Where did they come from? And why is the forest of the monarch so suitable? I wouldn't have even realized what my passion for plants and trees was missing if it wasn't for the moment I saw something. Something new. Something I'd never seen before. A ripple in my life that slowed time down. A bright pink bird. I never considered myself a birder. Birds were just kind of everywhere. I struggled so hard and the only thing I could come up with was flamingo? I was diving so deep into the world of birds. I can't even imagine a world without birds. I'm doing the same thing I do every day. Off to work. The routine. My career. My livelihood. I'm heading to a job. Heading to the site. Waiting knee deep. Standing in a retention pond. A beautiful site. A bird I'd never seen. A rosy-headed spoonbill. I just seen something I couldn't explain. Curiosity sunk in. I knew I could find the answer. Why are so many birds calling the forest to the monarch home? My brain was struggling so hard. I dove all the way into this. I became a Birder. I don't remember what I did the morning before I saw that rosy spoon spoonbill, and I don't know where I was headed. Something happened. It lit a spark in me. A reference a birder would give. I watched one bird video and now I'm three years in. Do you remember the last thing you spotted randomly and it changed you? You did research. You partook. A hobby that led to thousands of hours on YouTube. Buying random books. Trying to get these birds, Talking bro. to other people who have no idea what you're talking Sitting about. Sitting in a back bedroom to make YouTube videos about it. I look out any window in my feeder's room view. I watch the robins flock in three years in a row. And then just magically disappear seemingly so fast. But why now? Three years later are there so many any cardinals in my yard. You think they know I'm a birder? Maybe they like me just as much. We see each other in the morning and wave hi and goodbye. I'll be back. I love you the most. Why am I seeing more birds in one moment than I'd seen in most weeks? Cardinals are kind of hard to forget. They're common. They're always singing. Bright red with a mohawk. Kind of hard to miss. You just remember seeing one. Well, I'll tell you. A scent spotter camera. You know, a real one with a zoom and all. I feed them. These birds not only desire black oil sunflower seeds, they actually depend on it. Habitat destruction, pesticides and herbicides, automobiles, wildcats, DDT, lawnmowers, Red Rider BB guns. All of these things have either directly killed birds like the cardinal or lawnmowers, pesticides, and herbicides have wiped out much of the food sources they depend on. Now they depend on me and my black oil sunflower seeds. It's kind of a lot. Like I remember when I first started feeding the cardinals, it was a pretty cool sight to see your first cardinal after years of not seeing any. But why do I have four pairs of cardinals? Commitment, dedication, dependability. I always make sure there's more than enough food to go around. Don't get me wrong, naturally this bird actually has a quite diverse diet. They feed on insects, berries, certain vegetation, seeds of plants most call weeds, and even lizards. And that is why the cardinal has achieved such a vast range of territory. Rarely, this bird can be spotted as far west as California, crossing that huge desert. But if you live on the east coast, you've certainly encountered one, right? I'm sure you'd agree, they're absolutely stunning. And some of the most vibrant birds there are. In some ways, I'd like to change places with these creatures. I mean, there's no Wi-Fi in the forest, but I promise you'll find a better connection. Why did the Cardinals return in such a powerful way? I'm not for certain, but it's kind of like repeat these steps of your favorite video game and find the glitch. Firstly, my yard had no water, so I built a pond. Well, actually, we now have two flowing ponds. The sound of flowing water can be heard as soon as you walk out my door. I have no idea the number of birds that have been refreshed here, but I know it's in the thousands. And I believe they stuck around because I offer them their favorite food, black oil sunflower seeds. As a result of restoring this forest into the forest of the monarch, the bushes I planted turned out to be a suitable nesting site for these cardinals. I'm not sure if it's one big family or many individuals that were lured by the sound of running water, but I can say it's 32 degrees outside and they haven't left. That mysterious and oh so elusive rosy headed spoonbill never reappeared where I first saw it. I guess it was kind of a lucky sighting. And for me, definitely a once in a lifetime experience. And you probably already know, I did find where their suitable home is.